wow look at all of the lights if you get here you see happy holidays 911 911 and it's a beautiful thing let's walk a little closer we are here at West Galbraith and I'm here with Billy Billy Zaff, how are you today, sir? How you doing? Merry Christmas, everybody. All right. Hey, this is a beautiful display, and you just told me a little story about your father, and I would like, if you can, could you tell our viewers? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm the son, Santa, my dad. You know, we usually sat out here every year, and we've been doing it for the last uh, 38 years. Yeah, but he was diagnosed this June with uh, pancreatic cancer. So the uh, operation removed the tumor wasn't successful. So he's kind of uh, made amends with the Lord, and so it's been sad for me. It used to be a two-man job, now we're down to a one-man job. But Dad, uh, there a couple of weeks ago, he almost didn't make it through the night. So Dad told me he wanted me to carry on. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing it, Father and Dad. This is Greg Reese from Cincinnati, and I'm excited. We just spoke to Bill Zaff Jr. outside, and this is Bill Zaff Sr. Could you tell us how you're feeling today, sir? Well, today I'm feeling a lot better. You know, last night I had a little rough night. You know, it's one of those deals you feel good one day and you feel bad the next day. But uh, right now I'm feeling a little better. Yeah. That's incredible. And as we were outside and I was talking to your son, I noticed how you set up this... Uh, this display to make children feel better and adults and everyone to come by. Oh yeah, I've been doing it for, this would have been our, my 38th year, so I just had to turn it over to Bill, my boy, and I wanted him to keep on doing it, not to quit. You know, a lot of people say, well, why are you still doing it? I said, well, it's a tradition for the kids. You know, uh, ain't just going to stop this like that. We're going to keep on keep on doing it, you know, that's why uh, people have come across with a, a lot of uh, thank you notes and donations to keep the Santa Zaff lights on. We, you know, we have... Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, Dad used to always tell a story. My grandfather uh, worked out at Spring Grove Cemetery. He was a grave digger. And he got, they had come from a family of eight. So he had one older brother and all the other siblings were younger. And he said what he can remember growing up as a child, with them not having the money, that they would all pile in the station wagon and then they'd all drive around through the neighborhood. And Dad remembers being little and all the, you know, the oohs and the ahs, you know, with their, their face up against the glass. And so when he finally, uh, you know, after many years, he, you know, he's already, we lived in Northside for a while, and he bought the house up here. And, first Christmas that we got up here he started putting lights on. Oh that's uh, beautiful. And uh, every year it just kind of grows and grows and grows and so this is a way of dad paying back the people that he remembers as a child you know to uh, ooh and ah. It's been a really neat tradition I guess a family tradition. Do me a favor, take me back 38 years ago, uh, the Christmas 38 years ago, or when you had your first couple pieces. How did this start? Well, basically how it first started was I'm from a large family from Northside. There was eight of us kids, and my dad was a grave digger at Spring Grove Cemetery, and they never had a lot of money. So we just had our usual few Christmas uh, things that we put in the window. It used to be old reefs. And we would get them out of the bag every every year and put them in a window and a little old plastic tree. And that was always our Christmas at home. But then since we didn't have much, 
we'd all pile into Dad's old rickety station wagon and we'd go out looking at other people's lights. You know, we'd take turns. Somebody would say, I want a window seat, you know, and I want a window seat. Well, there were the eight of us, you know, so we'd go out and we'd look and we'd say, oh, look at that light, oh, look at that light. So, you know, it was something then that I enjoyed going out and seeing. So I thought, well, I'll do that for the, for the people. So we started out, after we bought our house up here, we started out small with, you know, how it starts, just with a few strands of lights and some candles and things. And then every year it just kept growing and growing, and it's still growing. We haven't